Greetings, my viewers and subscribers. Now, let me make this clear from the jump. I am not switching up on you guys. I am simply turning this channel into a one-stop shop. All right? So, it's still a reggae channel. If you have a song request or a tutorial or whatever, put it down there in the comment section. Now, if you're just bumping into this channel or this video, we cater for island music, reggae music, ska, soca, and so on. So go on down there, hit that subscribe button, it takes less than 3 seconds. Hit the notification bell and hit all so whenever I post a new video or a tutorial, you will be alerted, you will be first, you know, to know. Now, one of the most common challenges for beginners on guitar is getting away from the people's cards, also known as open cards. Especially when it comes to reggae music. Reggae music and open cards are... Mm, don't do it. <laughs> Imagine having all of this, but you can only play here. I understand your frustration. I'm here to help. Grab your guitars. Let's go. So now that we are zoomed in, right? See, bar cards are very important. You know, they are movable. They take you all over the guitar, you know, all over the neck, right? Open cards keeps you in one place. Or if you want to move, you're going to have to get yourself a capo to lock a fret, you know, in order to start playing. And then again, you're going to be locked there. Okay? So now, especially when it comes to reggae, you want that... You want to be able to play that, all right? You won't be able to play it here. It's not, it's not going to sound too good. You want to get that. You know what I mean? Now, so here's the secret. To play bar cards, we're going to work with the E major, E minor, we're gonna work with A major, A minor, all right? Now, the only thing is hindering you from playing bar cards is this finger, all right? Because remember, when you play in open, this is already barred, that fret is already barred there, all right? So what happens when you pull it up here? don't really sound that good right so what I want you to do is being that you already know your open cards I want you guys to come here and I want you to use these fingers instead of using this I want you to use these switch it around I want you to leave the pointer finger free all right I hope you guys are seen all right so now remember, like I said, bar cards are movable. They take you all over the guitar, right? So what you want to do right there, you got your E major, and that's your middle finger on the third string, third string of the first fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, second fret, ring finger on the fifth string, second fret. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable for now, but just stay with me a little bit. Don't forget the thumb, all right? Now you want to move up a, a half, like that. And when you move a half up, I want you to use this pointer finger. And the pointer finger is going to do the job that this was doing before, previously, all right? So you want to put it there, all right? And that is your bar card, your first bar card, all right? So that's your F major, all right? So, now you can start moving them. Now you're moving. So the truth is you basically know the bar card already. It's just, you know, to put it into, you know, 
to start using this finger. This finger can be your enemy and it also can be your best friend. All right, so again, erase it there. Now the only challenge is, you know, you wanna start doing it a lot, start practicing to get this finger to lay down comfortably. All right, and start barring the, the notes right there. Once you get that, then you are on your way. Now you're gonna say, how do I play the, the E minor? You go back there, and you just lift that middle finger, you move it up, same rule applies. And that's your E minor. Or if you wanna switch it around, if this makes you feel more comfortable, whatever makes you feel more comfortable, play that, all right? And that is the, we call that the E-shaped bar card because we're, the root, we're using the root from the sixth string, which is the thickest one, okay? Now let's get to the fifth string. Right, we're gonna use the root from the fifth string. Now, we call this the A shape bar card. Now you wanna bar, that's how you get your A, right? Bar, however you play. Now, what I want you to do is you're gonna use the ring finger to bar. Some people play it like that, you know? But this is very uncomfortable to me. Especially when I'm grabbing cards. Now, so let's use the ring finger and you wanna place it on the second fret, second string, third and fourth. You wanna play from the fifth string. That's your A major. Now the same rule applies. You wanna push it up and you wanna use that pointer finger again, your best friend, to bar it like that. You wanna bar from the fifth string, first fret, down. You play from the fifth string. And you are. You are on your way. And that's your A shape bar card. That's your A major. Now you can move your A, A major, you know, bar shape, whatever. Let's call it that. All right. So when you get here, you know, according to your C major, C sharp, B, and so on. Okay. Now, you are, do know that whenever you start getting up here, it gets easier because the fingers are coming in you know closer you're not doing all that stretching so i advise you to start working out down here first all right so the same rule applies if you want to get the a minor right so you want to use the middle finger on the second string first fret pinky finger third string second fret and the ring finger on the fourth string second fret right there all right now again it might be a bit comfortable but this i'm getting you into the bar cards all right so and the same rule applies you're going to play from the the fifth string so if this is your a minor after your a minor it's going to be your b flat minor so that's where you put that pointer finger all right you get that right there That's your B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp. Now all that is left is for you to get comfortable, start moving around the guitar neck, you know, understanding where you're at, where you're going. All right, so you wanna get back to your major scale, you know, and start doing your skills all over the guitar, all right? Now, let's get back to that E major. We play E major to A, A major, right? So if you want to play an E major to A major, you are going to find, if you find your E here, 
Then it's going to take this shape, it's going to take the A shape. That's for the major. And that's because the root is on the fifth string. So that is going to be your major, E major, right? The A down here on the fifth string, your A major is going to be that. But if it's on the sixth string, your A is located here. So it's going to take the E shape. I hope you guys are following. So if you want to strum an E major to an A major, you're going to That's basically it. The same rule applies to the minors. All right. If you want to play a E minor to an A minor, your E minor is going to take the the A shape. Because remember, when you turn that minor here from here, major to minor, right? Your E is here. Remember, E major. To E minor. And your A minor is going to take that, the E shape. Remember, we played it here E major to E minor. All right, so if you, the A is located, if you find the root on the sixth string, then it's not hard. It's basically the same. So you want to strum. And that's a wrap. Let me know how you feel about the tutorial, guys. Put it down there in the comment section. If there was a way, you know, I could make it easier for you guys, put it down there also. If you have a request, Talk to me a little bit. I'll try my best to reply to each and every single comment. My next tutorial will be on the number system. So start working out those fingers, start practicing those major skills and all, you know, and keep up. Do not forget to like, comment, share. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. Do it now. Blessed love. Peace out. See you next time.